big little legs. Skinny kid with plenty. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Z Tay, aka Lil Red. We got game four on the day of game five. Well, I'm extremely late, but if you guys didn't see the community post, I did say I was not gonna be home Friday through Sunday, which is why you did not see a reaction. I was gonna do it late last night because I got it. I flew back in, but at the same time, I gotta post it, right? I gotta post it, right? By this time, we should all know the Mavericks won. I haven't watched the game. I didn't watch the game. Um, I was very busy. I didn't get to watch the game. At the same time, I didn't want to see the Celtics win. But it didn't happen. Kyrie! I'm not gonna lie, I did watch the first quarter right now, and then I shut it off. I said, why not react to it? Let's get it. Jalen Brown off the switch, late switch, right at Gafford. One thing I noticed about the first quarter, Gafford had a couple mistakes, like right here. He is, look where he's at. Drop coverage. Mistake by Gafford, and right to this, I think he turned the ball over right to this. So right after that, Jason Kidd took him out the game. See, Derek Lively is in the game. They switched out Horford onto him. And I think they did take advantage of one thing, and I'm going to show you guys in this video. We got more four uh, more full court pressure versus Luca, and he took him all the way to the rim. Kyrie got a switch on a Derek White. It's it's very interesting that they're attacking Derek White. Xavier Tillman, a little down screen for Derek White. They switched it with Kyrie, so he's gonna get a bucket. Luca on a switch from Tillman. Derek Lively for a three. Uh, all right, we gotta talk about this because this is crazy. Derek Lively's hitting threes. I, I heard people say in college he was hitting threes, but the form looks nice. And it's crazy. You see Tatum's face, right? When we get the switch now, he was normally going to the dunker spot. If Tatum is the one that switched on him, spread him out. Go to the three-point line. Go to the corner. He can hit those things, I guess. Hold on. PJ. Kyrie. Lob it up. Lively. Oh, uh, he got stepped on right there. I noticed that. Tillman getting the hand one. Getting the switching. Luca, Nice. I think they just did a great job of, like, the big men when they switch. Oh, look at Derrick Jones Jr. Uh, first off, I'm going to break down what happened on this play. Luca was getting full court pressured. See, I told you I watched the first quarter. At least, like, right to this point. He passed it up to Derek Lively. He's not trying to beat the full court pressure by dribbling, which is something Jalen Brunson did versus the Pacers and the reason they lost that game seven, right? Now, if you do this, the counter to full court pressure is, you see, look how high they're guarding Lively and Luka because they're expecting that half court pick and roll. Now there's nobody in the paint, nobody behind. Derek Jones Jr. attacking Tatum. It looked like the game plan so far in the first quarter is to attack Jason Tatum on the defensive end. Obviously get the switches on the big man like right here. Drew. Oh, good D. Okay, Luca. Luca. Tough post up against Drew. He likes the oh the drop step. Ugh. All I can say is if he was able to score on Lou Dort, he could score on Drew. Damn. They're sending him. They're funneling him to the paint. Same strategy, and he's getting buckets. Mavericks love that funnel defense. Kyrie pull up. They missed it, but Josh Green flied in. Jump ball situation. Tip out. Dirt. He does. Bro, how does he consistently make BS shots like this? Derek White is him. That's crazy. The They're trying to get a swing. Venice Nostril. Huh? What the hell? Kyrie. PJ. PJ. Huh? Bro, I hope I see this tonight. By the way, do you guys want to live stream tonight? Let me know now. Exum. Because the game is in like six hours, I believe. It's 12 p.m. right now. Exum. Three. Huh? Dante Exum. I don't know why he hasn't been playing more often. Luca got the switch. Exum again. No, nah, bro. What the hell? Dante Exum giving them great minutes. And I've seen in game three, he was giving them good minutes and they didn't play him. They're switching on to him, trying to attack him. Now they're going to Lively, attacking him in the corner. Dennis Nostro. Why is Sam Hauser on Luka? Good hands by Drew. Don't you dare shoot that. That'd be crazy. Oh, back to Luka. Foul. Three on one. All right. Um, is this purposeful? They put Sam Hauser on Luka straight up. What? Unless Drew was on him and they doing some action with Exum. They might have done a pick and pop to get him to the elbow. Are they going to help? Great cut by Dante Exum. Clear Drew Holiday out the paint. 
Face up, step back. That's tough. Fuck it. I really like these Dante Exum. Yeah, the, bro, they're running action with Dante Exum and Luca to get the switch. Get Drew off of him. Luca one on one with Sam Hauser, loading up with De uh, Al Warford. Let's see, he's got Kleba open. Okay, never mind. Take it yourself. Oh my God, is this a Luca highlight tape versus Sam Hauser? Kyrie. This is the danger, though. All the attention is now on Luca. He gets by him. Drew is at the elbow, almost elbow, you know, up a little bit above the elbow, maybe the top of the key. He's almost at the top of the key, helping. Kyrie's gonna take it, quick rip through, attack the close, attack the gaps right here. Two dribbles, gather right hand. Skip past the Sam Hauser. Damn, another switch, man. What the hell is happening? Trying to look at the matchups. Maxi Kleba is being guarded by Sam Hauser now. Or something. I think they matched up in transition poorly because Horford's on Exum, which I don't think they were supposed to do that. But one thing about the Gortat screen. He's doing Gortat screens right here, giving him an angle, and then you got the corner. I love this counter from Dallas, right? I love that. Look at the pull-up because they're expecting him to take it all the way when they see the Gortat screen like this. Great pull up. They're cooking Sam Hauser. Just like I expected. Damn. There Jones Jr. Oh, Luca's going fast. Derek Rice picking him up. Doesn't matter. Body into him. Easy. Luca is cooking. My goodness. Drew. Kleba, you better put a damn hand up. This is lazy defense. Okay, late switch right here. Yeah, you can see he's not comfortable being out here on the perimeter. He just let him shoot that. He can't let him shoot that in the NBA Finals. Another switch. Luka. I love that. You know what? I love that. Watch this. This is this is all they have to do to win games. Because this iso ball is it's tough, right? The Celtics have showed us, and I was going to make a video on it if I didn't have to go on the weekend, that they want these dudes to play iso ball the whole series. Kyrie even said it. That when they're switching, you know, these guys like Al Warford, um, Peyton Pritchard, Sam Hauser onto Luka and Kyrie, the Celtics are trying to make them play Eagle Ball. The Celtics are saying, don't help, don't help. It's so important that these rollers can kill this First switch, points. right? We've seen them go to the dunker spot often, but this allows Drew Holiday to help. So watch this. He's going to clear out to the corner. Derek Lively is going to set the screen. I want to see this more often. Look at the bailout pass. That's a beautiful play. Catch, shoot, fire with confidence. A little off ball for Tatum. Icing the screen, but he still gets over the screen, and it's a pick and pot for Horford. Luca, what you got? Lob it up! That's a crazy lob! Uh, step back, Tatum blocked by Gafford, and the foul. Kyrie one on one with Thousand. Ooh, that's a crazy pass. PJ! PJ! What the hell? Huh? They're getting that switch they want. Attacking Luke on the closeout. Tough. I like that. Make Sam Hauser the scorer. That's bad defense by Sam Hauser right there, bro. Oh, they are really putting Sam Hauser in every action. They're making him score offensively. Watch this. He's staying attached to PJ. He's not even here to help. This is way too easy. Way too easy. It's like, I don't know if this is a breakdown by Hauser or if the Celtics coach made an adjustment, if Joe made an adjustment and said, don't switch this. We're going to slide over with help and help off Derrick Jones Jr. But make them pay Derrick Jones Jr. All right, they're trapping now. They're trying different coverages. They're going away from the switch now. Oh, man. Hold on. This might be dangerous. I mean, they are up 30. But for the first time in the series, bro, the Celtics are going away from the switch defense. They are now trapping the pick and roll. This is dangerous. I'm not gonna lie, this is dangerous. Because the Mavericks, whew, it's dangerous to play this coverage versus the Mavericks because this is what they've been seeing the whole playoffs. They are in rhythm when they see this. Their offense gonna be better when they're getting trapped and blitzed, right? Leva's gonna roll, Jalen's gonna help. Nobody's rotating to, I mean, we got Hauser on a late rotation. Luca attacking the closeout. That's so simple for Luca. This is going to be dangerous if they're trapping Kyrie. He's seen that coverage versus the Thunder. All series. And a little bit versus the Timberwolves. Luca, ISO versus Sam Hauser. Bro, they are cooking that matchup. Missed it, though. Kyrie. 
I also did see a stat that Lively had hella rebounds. Finally. You're getting switches. Attack those switches by standing in the dunker spot and getting ready for rebounds. You are bigger than these guards. You gotta swim move these dudes. Look at the score. Oh, I love that pass, Luca. Oh, that's a good block. This is what I want to see more often. Because so often, it's just Luca ISO. You got to get your teammates involved. When you see dudes helping like this, trust your teammates. I like the attack. Attack the outside foot. That's just a great recovery by Drew. Kyrie. Why Tatum? Yeah, they're making Tatum play some defense. Maybe trying to get him a little. Look at everything is against Jason Tatum. They're kind of using that strategy they did against Luka. They're going to make Tatum play some defense, tire him out. Little tween, tween, has he tween, explode, two dribble, three dribble, pull up. Make him play some defense. Good pass. Kleba, one more. Josh Green, attack the closeout. Dunker spots a lively. Beautiful offense. Kyrie, boom, movement. This is crazy. They're moving the ball. Mavericks having fun. This is what I want to see. I better see this tonight. They got Luke Cornette in the game. They're throwing in the towel. <laughs> Kyrie versus Peyton Pritchard is disrespectful. Dribble handoff. Sam. I don't know. Sam Hauser is dead ass. The only ones. They got the white boys in the game. They got Schema, Kai Luke, Peyton. They got Sam Hauser, Luke Cornette, and Brissett. And they threw in the towel. Mavericks still got their starters in. Sam Hauser's cooking. My goodness. What? <laughs> the announcer says, so what do you guys want to talk about? Yeah, ah, stop. X them another three. They got Marquise Morris in the NBA Finals. They are cooked. X them cooking the pick and roll. Get comfortable, bro. Please, bro. Please come back. Good defense. Good hands. Dwight Powell's in the game. Sam Hauser. Bro, why is Sam Hauser turning into Duncan Robinson right now? Tim Hardaway Jr. Ah. Okay, Tim, get going, bro. Exum. We're not going to say that's an ankle breaker. Okay. Uh, off ball for... So, dribble handoff. Oh, my God. Pull it, then. What? Okay. Tim? Ah. What the hell is happening? Ah, look at his pops. Finally, bro, Tim. Finally, man. That's all I got to say. Oh, the spin move. Kick to him again. The heat check. That is Nostra. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. He wants an ISO. Who the hell is number 44? Oh, my God, bro. Mavericks went crazy. Bro, Boston has... They're getting destroyed. Oh, man, I missed this beautiful game. Okay, Speed. All right, bro. Peyton. 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 I'm not going to lie. I'm skipping all the Celtics highlights now. Marquise Morris. Oh, he missed it. Back to him. Marquise Morris. Man. Jordan Walsh got minutes. Why is Jaden Springer? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know. I forgot he got traded by Philly earlier this year. I'm surprised he's not getting more minutes. Like him and Jordan Wallace, I understand they're young, but Porzingis was available to play. He didn't play. I don't expect him to play in the finals. That, that I, I saw an interview too. Xavier said, like, he's not looking good. Um, Jalen Brown, three for 12. My goodness. Make him a shooter. Like, I don't think he's proven in this series that he can consistently hit the three. Maybe in Boston it's different though. We've seen in Boston, everybody hits threes. Derek White was two for eight from three tonight. Or tonight. Friday night. It's Monday morning. My goodness. Drew had five turnovers. Uh, Tatum, four for ten. They made him play defense. He had four fouls. Uh, Horford, 23 minutes. They're not the same team without um, Porzingis. We've seen it even in game three. Uh, let's see. Luka, 29 points without making a single three. Kyrie only hit one three. Bro. They won this game with Kyrie and Luka shooting horrible from three. They, I think Derek Lively great, gave them great minutes. Seven offensive rebounds. Like I said, when they switched that and they got Drew Holiday, Derek White on Derek Lively in the dunker spot, Jalen Brown even, he's got to get rebounds. He showed that he did it last night, or last night, Friday night, 11 and 12 with a three. Ooh, man, hold on. Dante Exum. Gave them great minutes. I want to see Exum get a little bit more minutes. Tim Hardaway at five threes. 
And I did see Jason Kidd say that they want to play him more because of that. So we'll see. Maxi Kleba even hit a three. Gafford only played 10 minutes. Uh, my question in my head, is Derek Lively going to start tonight? Um, Derek Jones Jr. got 17 minutes. PJ only 14 minutes tonight. Um, interesting. Um, close that game tonight in Boston. If the Mavs can win this game, they have a chance, bro. They have a chance to be the first team to ever come back 3-0. Because they said first time in NBA. No, there's been no team ever in NBA history to win a series after losing by 38 plus in a game in the finals. If there's one team to choke this, it's the Celtics. I don't believe in the Celtics team when it comes to being clutch. We've seen they have not been clutch since they've been together. Like the opposite of clutch. That being said, they are in Boston coming off this game. Um, I did see some of the Mavs pregame practice shoot around. They look like they're having fun. Vibes are up for the Mavs. Maybe the Celtics getting nervous. They are shorthanded without Porzingis. This bench right here, if you look at the names, they don't look good. A lot of pressure is being put on Jason Tatum and um, Jalen Brown. And it looks like they're attacking Tatum defensively to make him a little bit more tired. I don't know, man. Don't call it a comeback, but low key, I think they could be the first team ever to come back 3 0. What do you guys think? What are you guys' predictions for tonight? Let me know if you guys want a live stream or a video um, later tonight. This is Ite. Peace.